Oh shit! What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose! Oh my god, my sister is such a dick. Oh man. It was her birthday earlier this week. Yeah. And she has three cats. Yeah. And I wanted my dog to Tinkle, come. Tinkle, sprinkle, and binkle. Yeah, and I I wanted my dog to come visit, but he doesn't get along with cats. So I told her, <sighs> hey, can you just lock your cats in the oven or the freezer or something while yeah. we're there so I can bring the dog? And she said no. Wow. Wow. Fucking bitch. Fucking what? I can't believe I'm related to her. That's crazy, man. It's the most reasonable request ever. I put my dog in the oven all the time. Actually, I put oh, Cletus in the freezer once. Did I tell you about that? You did? Did I talk about that on the show? No. no. Okay, well, I'll tell the story later. Add that to the pile of stories. Okay. But, first of all, my parents... No, nah, my parents just messaged me and my sisters in a group text. And they're like, uh, hey, we just got into New Orleans. And my sisters are like, oh, great, have a great time. And I was like, no, make sure you go to Cafe Dumont and eat some Bengay. I heard it's really tasty. But I feel like my sisters will be like, it's been yay. So I'm like, that's the joke, bitch. Yeah, apparently your sisters take things too seriously. No, not always. Not always. I just think they think that, like, since I'm the baby, they're just like, I, no, I, I don't know. It's yeah. This. Don't you like, know? Better? I know. Like, yeah, whatever. They Anyways. Don't look at you. They don't see a grown ass man. Yeah, but I'm a grown ass man. I have a one inch wiener, bitch. <laughs> yeah, um, some grown ass men have one inch wieners. Yeah, me, bitch. Okay, then. Um, okay, so, uh, we got stories to talk about now, dude. Okay, so, multi so, diarrhea. diarrhea. It was easy. And, uh, something I talked about in the beginning. Put, putting Cletus in the freezer. Oh, yeah, okay. <clears throat> well, all right, so, the diarrhea story. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, well, on Christmas, when I was in second grade, I thought I told this on the show, but perhaps not, um... Yeah, I, uh, we went downstairs to open presents and shit, like, as we did ooh, every Christmas. Um, like, my parents would go down, they'd videotape us at the top of the stairs and shit. What the hell? Oh, you had to kill those dudes. Oh, to get a floater. Oh, that, that makes more sense. And so we were all uh, opening presents and shit. My sister's a lot older than I am. And I was like, okay, uh, cool. I, I was so excited, you know, second grade. Christmas mm -hmm. is still fucking grand. Yeah. Um, presents, presents, presents. But, like, out of nowhere, like, I didn't even feel like I had a fart or anything. Just fucking one minute I was chilling, the next minute, just fucking diarrhea all down my leg. Oh. It was just like, <laughs> like, it didn't make a noise or anything. What? Like, out of fucking nowhere. I couldn't even fight it. Like, I, I like that sound effect you added. It was just like, boom, like a fucking explosion went off. What? And the next thing I knew, just poop everywhere down my leg. And I was like... Uh, and I just went upstairs and uh, went to go clean up in the bathroom. Dude, it was just like fucking, like, so fucking disgusting and wet and shit, dude. Like, uh. oh my god. There was nothing I could have done. Like, <laughs> that was the craziest ex experience ever. I'm like, well, talk about surprise dookie. That was it. Jeez. Um, yeah, the... dude, it was fucking crazy. Wow. So... Yeah, ever since that that's what made me cautious of my farts and stuff. But I, there was no even fart to be cautious of. I was just fine and then like wow. So yeah. the, so that that situation that whole situation pretty much uh what's the word? It scarred you in a way. Not really. I was paranoid. I was more just like, whoa. Ah, okay. Yeah, it was like a like a tale of caution to myself. <laughs> like <laughs> there she blows. Watch out, poop lord. The poops can never stop. Bombs away! <laughs> Pretty much. Alright, let's go do the Lanky Castle. Okay, then your next story is... Yeah, it was easy. Oh, it was easy. I had this professor uh, at university, and he was uh, from Serbia, I believe. Uh, and he was, uh, like, the equivalent of studying abroad, but teaching abroad. And this dude was so fucking nice. Oh. Um, he was so nice. He, like, the first day of class, he's like, Hi, my name is so-and-so, and, -so, and um, he had a very heavy accent. He was like... Wait, what accent is it? Like a Serbian accent. Where's Serbia again? Serbia, like... Uh, is that the Balkans Middle East? Area? No, like kind of close. Like the Balkans. So like Eastern Europe, s Southeast... Like, I'll show you on a map. <clears throat> Serbia sounds like a Middle Eastern place, but what else? Okay. Hold on. Serbia. Serbia. So like... Oh, so like oh it's see, by Italy. Yeah, Greece so like Romania. see Eastern Europe, 
I see. Like, okay. Seconds. Yeah. <clears throat> Balkans area is like this. Mm. That's Balkan. So he kind of had like a little bit like, again to the untrained ear or like an American, you know, like Russian Eastern accent, like. Hello, today we're going to talk about this, blah, 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 you know. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, he was so nice. The first day, the whole class was just like, this is my hometown. If you come visit me, you can stay with my family. Like, you can Aww. stay here, blah, blah, blah. And like, all he, all he wanted was for us to all do well, right? That was Aww, like... Oh, what a nice dude. But, <laughs> turns out, <laughs> he had a little bit of a sour side. Oh. Like, we let him down. <clears throat> he had these high expectations. He was teaching us like, some course in uh, programming languages and uh, like <laughs> it was just like all these super old programming languages and he would teach them in such a way that like nobody really knew what was going on I don't even think he knew what the fuck was going on and it, he'd take he'd have quizzes for us so we'd take the quiz and then um, we took the first major quiz and the average on the quiz was I believe like a, like a 6 out of 10 like a 60% real bad I thought I had to go to the ceiling. No? Go to the ceiling. Whoa, bitch. Hide um, the drugs! Hide the drugs! <laughs> whoa. Hello, mister. Oh, this fucking guy, the blue tomato. Hey, like, it's not much fun being stuck in this pokey igloo, so I made up a game to pass the time. If I don't play soon, I'll die of boredom. Okay. I'm fucking jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> whatever. Oh, wait, no, he's a tomato. Is this a matching one? Oh no, you gotta... Oh, I'm fighting him? Yeah, you gotta make sure they're all green, I think. Whoa. Yeah, I mean, if you actually read what he said, you'd know what's going on. Ah, read. Who's for third? <sighs> okay, anyhow. Yes. So, like, we, we all did really bad on the quiz, and he, like, came in, and he was, like, announcing how everyone did and shit. And he's, like, uh, he's, like, the average was a 6 out of 10. He's, like, I cannot believe this. How can you do so bad after I teach you all these things? And he's, like, uh, <laughs> he's, and then the famous quote. He's, like, it was so easy. It was easy. And so, like, uh, that became kind of, like, anyone's, like, hey, do you have this teacher? He'd be, like, they instead of saying yes or no, they'd be, like, it was easy. Like, they just quote him, because he always said that shit. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, he's... The next quiz, it was also, like, terrible. Uh, it went so bad. And, uh, he said something along the lines of, like, uh... This quiz, it was easy. I don't understand how you're not doing well. You do this bad again, I will come to class and kill myself in front of all of you. And we're like, what the fuck? And that became his legacy, so people are like... Yeah, he's like, I'll come and kill myself. And he's like, what? it was easy. I'll kill myself. We're like, what the fuck, dude? He said that? <laughs> yes. In front of the whole class. You have had some pretty interesting Dude, teachers, I know. Dude. It was fucking hilarious First, to there's, me. There's like, the Asian just because it was so dark. There's the Asian one from college who's like, you need to go home and kill yourself. Yeah, oh, dude. you missed a balloon. Yeah, I just realized that. I was walking out. And, that, and now this this uh, yeah, guy dude, from Serbia. Serbian, dude. What the heck? Yeah, dude. The first That's guy funny. that you're talking about, the Chinese dude, that dude was, he was a fucking legend. Yeah. Yeah, that guy is fucking awesome. That's like one of the smartest people ever. Wow. So fucking sad. <laughs> but yeah, dude. It's like, Jeez. Jesus Christ, man. I'm trying to think if I have any, have had any teachers who... How do I get up there? Fuck. Oh, you, you go uh, right over oh, there. Oh, perfect. Thank you. It's time for the I slide. Know, favorite. You can do it first. Really? Yeah. Oh, thank it's you. It's your favorite part of the game, dog. This is the part where after I saw the movie Ice Age, I instantly came back to this game. And I was like, yeah, I'm reliving this scene from the movie. Here you go. I gave the control to James. All right, here we go. Yeah, so, man, yeah, I've had some fucking hilarious teachers and shit. Um, anyways, yeah, dude, it was easy. <laughs> so that was like a saying with my friends and pretty much all of my um, co-students for a long time. I see. It was easy. What, the, what? Excuse me? I don't know, man. What the? Okay, thank, thank you, Squawks, for messing up the I, camera. I feel like he's going to do that again, man. No, he... Only one? A after he does it once, it's... Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, dude. <laughs> so that that was like the quote in the. Um, it was easy. It was easy. Uh, yeah, dude. <laughs> fucking hilarious. I'm and going to come to class and kill, kill myself, myself in front of all of you. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, this shit's dark, bro. Um, 
Yeah. <laughs> so. That's but, amazing. Yeah. <clears throat> and then, um, God, I love this part so much. Yeah. Uh. Okay, the trick here is you're not supposed to jump here. Oh, really? You're supposed to, if you oh, jump, you you'll up. always fuck up. You'll oh. always die. So oh. you have to just let Lanky. I probably would have jumped. Yeah, see, I, I had to learn from trial and error multiple times as a kid. And then I had one more story. Oh, shit. Which I don't remember. Okay, it was Cletus in the freezer? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, we were, like, vacationing for a weekend, uh, and my folks have a, a separate house in another city. Oh, okay. And um, it gets really hot there. <clears throat> and so... We took Cletus for a walk, and he's, you know, he's got a shit ton of fur because he's a fat bug, <laughs> and he overheats really easily. Okay. So when we, like, we took him for a walk, not that long, maybe a mile or two, and he just pooped out halfway through. Like, he was, like, he'd go lay down in the shade, and then we'd make him walk another block after a few minutes, and he'd just run to the next, like, piece of shade he found. <laughs> he did not want to go out. He was still pretty young at this point. Aww. So I carried him home. And he was just panting the whole way, like, limp. He was like, <laughs> you know. Oh, poor um, dude. Poor baby. And so then, you know, I got him some water, but he was too tired to even drink the water when he got home. So I was like, huh, I wonder if he likes the freezer. He was too tired. Wait, he was too tired to drink the yeah, water? Yeah, he was just, like, panting and chilling for a little Aww. while. So I opened baby. the freezer, and I left <laughs> I left the door open, but I put him in the freezer, uh, and he started wagging his tail. <laughs> And he really liked it. And we left him in there for about five minutes with the door open. We were watching him the whole time. Um, and then when we took him out, he was like totally revitalized. He went and got some water and he was chilling out just normal. It was great. That's awesome. Yeah. So I have like an what old, the? I don't know where it is, but I, somewhere I have some old cell phone picture of Cletus in the freezer. You have some old cell phone I, picture? Like, I don't know where the fuck it is. <laughs> if you asked me to find it, I couldn't. <laughs> Maybe uh -oh. I don't even have it anymore. I don't know. But it, yeah, it was fucking hilarious. Like little great. tiny Cletus. Like, he just starts wagging his tail. Yeah, That's wonderful. He was like kind of a puppy, but not like, you know, when you see a puppy and you're like, oh my god, puppy. Just not like fully, fully grown. Was he like a year old? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. he's like on the on the line between grown ass yeah, man Maybe and... two years old. I don't know. He was just a young dog. I see. That's so yeah. cute. Yeah. <laughs> he just wags his tail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, he liked it. Shit, I think you oh, need 50. No! Don't you? Oh! Yes. Wait, do you need 50? Yeah, see, he's laughing at me. I'm afraid you didn't care any Oh my coins. god, you're missing one? That sucks. Suck my balls. Okay, do you want to No, it? no, I don't care. Okay, one more chance for me. Thanks for letting me do this. Yeah, dude. dude. <laughs> of course. This is a fucking long game. Yeah, dude, it is. <laughs> is this the longest game we've Fuck, no. God. Maybe not. Is Zelda longer than this? Uh, Banjo Tooie is the longest series we've done, but uh, I have a feeling this might be the longest. Not by episode count, but like these episodes count. are like yeah, fifteen to twenty minutes. Yeah, if we did ten minute long episodes, this would be like over a hundred probably. Yeah, this might be the longest. Yeah, yeah, I think so. We're probably gonna approach seventy episodes when this is done. Seventy episodes of twenty minutes, fifteen to twenty. Fifteen to twenty. Yeah. And then some of the earlier ones were more like ten minutes, I think. Yeah, but. but... We've had some 20 plus too. Like 25. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. <laughs> like the half hour Donkey God. Kong arcade episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yep. People love that clip, by the way, yeah. when you're like, how do you know? Are you a physicist? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, you know, when I, you were like, chemist? I was like, no, no, no. I was like, you. Fuck it, I'm not gonna reset okay, okay. it here on the show. You go it, watch it. It, like, it rings a bell. I mean, I've seen that clip like a bunch of times. <laughs> my memory is just like, eh. Okay. I don't always shit, remember Lord, shit, shit, Lord, shit, shit, fuck me. That comes out of my mouth when I'm on this show. <sighs> Still love this part. Oh, bitch. Still love it, okay. But yeah, my sister, she actually recently, um, she now has three cats. She used to have two. Three? Yeah, she got a third one. a crazy cat lady? Do they um, have a dog? Nope. Why? Just three cats. Ew. <laughs> Yeah. Cats are fucking stupid. <laughs> really? Yes! I think people, don't people generally say cats are smarter than dogs? No, there was, well, okay, maybe they say that, but there was research that came out, time to, time to start a flame war, bitches! Okay. There was a, a big study that came out within, like, the last half a year that showed that dogs are about twice as smart as cats. What? Yeah. I, I guess I just 
I think of Garfield when I think of smarts and cats, and I think of Obi. Asshole doesn't mean you're fucking smart. Uh, yeah. Think how many, like, fucking assholes are on the internet who think they're really fucking smart, but yeah, in reality, like you. they're fucking dumb. Like you, for example. Yeah, except <laughs> the difference is I have 8,000 IQ, you fucking idiots. <laughs> but anyways. So, oh my god. Bing, 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 that cats are dumber? No. Okay. No, no, no. Cats are fucking assholes, dude. <laughs> dogs have been, uh, like... Yeah, they're assholes. I know that. Yeah. Dogs have been, um... Fuck, what's the word? Just... Loyal. Uh... I can picture, like, the what the word I'm trying to describe is... I'll just fucking de try and describe the word. Okay. Uh, ingrained in human culture, like, uh, cultivated, uh -huh. and, like, they've lived with humans for a lot longer than cats have. Uh -huh. I can't remember... Like, bred in captivity and... Uh, domesticated. Domesticated, that's the word I'm looking for. Way longer than cats have. <laughs> Suck cats, my nipple. Cats have a lot more, like, feral instincts still. Cats are little fucking shitters, right, Jen? Yes! <laughs> there you go. Jen used to work as a, a vet assistant so mm -hmm. for a while, so she fucking knows. Cats are little assholes, right, Jen? Yes, fuckers. There you have it. You know, it's funny you say that, because my cats. sister... Her cats are actually Not pretty... Not all cats. Her cats, cats are, are actually pretty nice. She has one named That's George. True. Pretty nice? The, okay, she has three cats. Does that mean really nice or well, nicer than most cats? Well, she basically calls him a dog. Okay, I like those cats. Because he's like... he. His name's George. So George, Lily, and Sophie. Sophie's the new one. Okay. George loves to just lay down and be pets. He'll just uh, walk up to you and cuddle with you and okay. let you rub his belly. Those cats stuff. are the bomb. I like those cats. Ooh. <gasps> Is this what I was supposed to do? You can tell me if this is what I was supposed to do. Yup. Nice. <laughs> I told, like, remember what I was saying? A switch? Mm -hmm. Yep, you got it. Well, now. I figured, but this is a big level. Fuck me. You press a Z. I, I pressed and it didn't do anything. Why am I missing one banana? Maybe you press B. Wait, know. is that? No, that's donkeys. Donkey <laughs> wiener, wiener, wiener. Is that gonna respond for me? Yes. Whew. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I've generally been more of a dog for I, I've never owned a cat, so I can't say for sure, but yeah, I... I Me neither. I just like how dogs tend to just look up to you and be like, You're the greatest, I love you, uh, I just feel like most cats are fucking shitlords. <laughs> fucking assholves. Yeah. Okay. Here, Great. Jen, come on the show. Would you like to close out this episode? We're almost done. Would you like to finish it with a rant on how much cats suck, according to you? Or just your general experience working closely with cats and dogs? Come on. I feel like unless you mistreat a dog from, like if it's not socialized from birth, then a dog, like unless that happens, a dog is going to be nice. So if you socialize a dog at all, generally speaking, it's going to be nice, right? Unless you traumatize a dog or you don't socialize it, right? Take would it you Would you say most dogs are pretty nice in that scenario when they've been socialized? Yeah. And easily. not traumatized? Yeah. Would you say that cats are the same way or no? Not at all. Yeah, you can Let's hear it. Tell us, tell us about it. I mean, Here, mo talk. most kittens can be nice, but even some kittens can be not nice, and most cats, as I've dealt with in the past, like, around two years being in the vet field, most cats are not nice when they grow up. Even if they are nice sometimes, they can still be assholes. Like, <laughs> a nice cat, I was petting, it was having a great time, it was totally fine, and then just whips around and bites me, like... Yeah, see, what? It w I was doing the exact same thing as I was two seconds ago, and all of a sudden, it's just like, nope. And the the bad thing with cats is they don't have, um, oh, there we go. they don't have warning signs like dogs do. Dogs uh, will, like, growl at you. You can see teeth. in their facial expression, in their body position. Cats have no warning. They are just go from, I like you, to I want to kill you in <laughs> half a second, and you'll not know what happened. <laughs> Little fuckers. Yeah. But don't some cats like find dead birds or fish or something and leave them by the door and show that they love you? I'm not sure if that's saying that they love you, but... Just like, look what I did. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's kind of just a cat with its <laughs> primal instincts being like, look, I'm a good hunter. Yeah. Check out that shit, motherfucker. What do you think of that, huh? Yeah. I'm, yeah. Top, I'm top cat around here. Yeah. What do you think of that? Next time on Royal Goobs, we, um... Elliot. Kill a cat live on stream! 